Hello everybody, this is Dmitry49 with Product Feedback, bringing you the full review of the Sennheiser PC360 gaming headset. If you haven't checked out the first look video, please click on the link down below. Uh, this is where I talk about some of the features that come with this headset and my first impressions of this headset. So right off the bat, I can say that these are extremely comfortable headsets. This is only 300 grams and the plastic used is very uh, nice and sturdy. It does feel very solid uh, while being light. Um, but the headset is very comfortable. The ear padding is large enough to fit your entire ear. So there's no pressure on anywhere on your ear because your ear just sits inside the cup and that's a very nice thing. I did compare them to my Sennheiser 7H and they are a much smaller headset and I can definitely tell you the difference that uh, a smaller headset does feel less comfortable uh, for long uh, hours of wearing them. The soft padding on the ear cups is also very nice. It does attract a lot of dust and a lot of hair. In terms of comfort, these headphones are definitely built to, uh, for the gamer to wear them for long hours of gaming. And uh, I did not find any issues of my ear sweating or me being uncomfortable wearing them for, uh, for a couple of hours straight. Uh, after a while, actually, you forget that you're wearing them and you feel like the uh, sound is coming out from your speakers. Obviously, much better sound quality than speakers, but um, that's a very good thing when you forget you're wearing a headset and that's something that I really like about this pair. Now, in terms of the microphone, the microphone is also very clear. It is a gaming mic microphone, so it does cancel out any background noise. And uh, let's take a listen of the sample of me speaking into the microphone. So the sound you hear right now is being recorded by the microphone on the headset. The headset mic uh, plug is plugged in into my sound card. So this is the type of sound that you are to expect in your gaming environment. Uh, you can also position the microphone a little bit more down if you don't like it right in face because you kind of get you can see it and that may be uh, uncomfortable for you. And you can also mute the microphone by putting it upwards. microphone down as well and uh, that's a very good feature so thank you Sennheiser. Now for my testing purposes I am using the uh, Asus DX 7.1 sound card uh, and this is one of the uh, disadvantages of having this pair while it is uh, quite expensive and I'll talk about that a little bit later you do require a good sound card to run them properly um, so you don't need uh, an amp, you don't really need it. You could get an amp to improve bass quality and overall sound quality on this pair, but uh, you need a dedicated sound card in order to get the full potential out of this headset. If you are using your onboard built-in sound card on your motherboard, uh, this won't serve justice to what kind of sound quality you can get out of these headphones. Uh, so I would uh, suggest that you do invest into a better sound card if you are planning on purchasing uh, this headset. So for testing purposes, I am also testing them out with the SteelSeries 7H headset, which is much smaller. They have uh, similar specifications, uh, but right off the bat, I was uh, I noticed a big difference in sound quality uh, between the 7H and the Sennheiser PC360. Uh, the 360 being the far superior in terms of sound quality and soundstage. What soundstage is, is that feel like you're in the room with the musicians if you're listening to music, or gives you that really good awareness uh, of positionality and directionality during gaming. Uh, so because this is an open ear headset, um, does give you that sound stage that you need because the sound uh, is not pushed all into your ear and some actually leaves out through this mesh here. Uh, and if you do put your hand on it while listening to music on this side of the headset, you will hear a difference in sound quality because the sound will be kind of bounce back into your ear and some will not escape. Uh, so the, the sound that does escape, that gives you that sound stage because it feels it makes you feel like you're in the room uh, with the musicians, like I said, uh, if you are listening to music and uh, it really gives you that big advantage in gaming because you can hear your opponent before you see him and you can you know exactly where they're coming from, how far they are from you and that was really impressive uh, during gaming uh, for this headset. Now in terms of the actual sound quality, the, this is by far the most superior and best sound quality that I've heard uh, from a headset for gaming and music as well. Now because this is an open ear headset, uh, it doesn't have that punchy bass that uh, a lot of streamlined headsets have 
And that's something to consider because if you want a more kind of a punchy bass, uh, head rumbling while you're listening to music or gaming, uh, this is not the pair to get. And that is because the bass does disturb the quality, it does worsen the quality of the audio. So they have gone with minimal uh, bass and my 7H actually has uh, much uh, better bass and much it's more deeper and you can hear it uh, well without disturbing any other sounds. But you can also increase the bass on this pair through the equalizer settings and that's something to know because um, if you do increase it by just a little bit, it does improve it and it doesn't disturb the quality and it preserves all the crisp and rich sound while uh, delivering a little bit more bass. Uh, so that's something that uh, if you do like that, this is also a very good option. Now in terms of music, while this is a gaming headset, it is also a hi-fi headset. So it does give you really good uh, sound for music and movie playback. Now, like I said earlier, it doesn't give you that bassy feel. So for anything like trance or hip hop, this would probably not be the best headset because you do want to experience the full bass, really deep bass. Um, uh, but I, like I said earlier, you can increase the bass just a little bit and that does improve it without losing the quality. But for instrumental guitar and vocals, this pair was just so good. I didn't want to take them off. Now, some of the things that I don't like about the headset now I am being picky because there's really nothing uh, wrong about the sound quality or build quality or anything like that. But I really don't like the huge microphone that they've installed on this pair. And I would like to see them if you can make it removable so you can take it on the road with you as just as a headphone without having this huge giant bulky microphone sitting on, your, uh, on the side of the head, especially if you don't use it. Now also because this is an open type of headset, any sound that you are listening to here will be slightly leaking out of the headset and that is something to know. Um, it's not a lot, so it's not uh, to the point where it disturbs the ones around you, but that is something to consider if you are worried about your privacy. Now also because this is an open type of headset, uh, it doesn't cancel out any background noise. So even if you put them on, it doesn't seem like you have them on because you can hear everything just like it was before without the headphones on. So that is something to consider if you are in a loud environment, you will hear a lot of that noise coming into the headset and that will potentially disturb your gaming environment and confuse if it's uh, either the sound in game or is it a sound in your room. And, uh, but to overcome that, you can either <laughs> increase the volume. Uh, at 50% volume, they do give you a really nice kind of cancel out, cancel out any background noise uh, and at 100%, that's obviously something that is very loud and it does cancel out absolutely everything in your room and you only hear what is coming from the headset. Now, the price tag of these in Canada is $299 and that is something that I want to talk about as well. I think that's a bit pricey because uh, $299 price tag, you can get yourself for $300, bucks, you can get yourself a really decent pair of headphones and a dedicated sound card. Now these are just the headphones by themselves. So you need a dedicated sound card already. If you don't own one, then it's probably not the worth of a purchasing one. If you are in a budget of $300 for like these headphones cost, I would suggest you purchase uh, Sennheiser HD 555 or 595, depending on, on, the, on the price where you can get them and purchase a dedicated sound card with that as well. And that will be under 300 bucks. But if you already own a good sound card and you are willing to spend $300 on a pair of headset, uh, then this is definitely one of the headsets to consider because not only does it give you excellent build quality, amazing sound reproduction, a really good directionality and awareness in game, uh, really nice controls actually on the, on the, on the actual headset, uh, but uh, it's also very comfortable. Uh, and that is something to consider if you are a pro gamer and you have to be wearing that for long hours of gaming. And one thing I forgot to mention is that uh, they do connect with through a regular 3.5 uh, headphone and microphone jack. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions regarding the PC360, please leave them in the comments down below. This has been DaVinci49 with product feedback. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more. To be updated on the latest product feedback videos, make sure that you have subscribed.